The concept of personalized antiplatelet therapy has been of great interest. Not nearly as, as easy as we would have liked, I think, and it's become a little complicated with the data. Trigger PCI is a terrific study. There was an expedited publication of it in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, and I'm with the author, Franz Joseph Neumann. And Trigger PCI, first give me an idea of what you were doing in that particular trial. Yeah. We were intrigued by the concept of uh, personalized uh, antiplatelet therapy, and we wanted to randomize patients undergoing elective PCI who were low responders to clopidogrel to either continue with normal dose clopidogrel or change to the stronger uh, antiplatelet prasugrel. And the idea was that this was, would reduce the incidence of major ischemic events like death and myocardial infarction and uh, stent thrombosis with the idea that you might be able to come up with a more personalized approach yeah. for those people who have problems. That, that's right. We, we know in acute coronary syndromes, high-risk acute coronary syndromes, that, that the stronger platelet inhibition is more effective, irrespective of the responder status to clopidogrel. But in elective PCI, we had some indication that uh, the risk was higher in patients uh, with low response to clopidogrel, and we wanted to reduce this risk by the stronger antiplatelet. So you actually kind of proved the concept. We, we tried to prove the concept, but, but we failed, as, as you can read in the paper, because the incidence of acute of events, of uh, ischemic events of myocardial infarction, stent thrombosis, was very low. Um, with the elective PCI, with successful elective PCI, the incidence, subsequent incidence of death and myocardial infarction was very low. It, it was 0.5%. Uh, that, that's, I mean, and, and you can't improve on this, particularly if you think Absolutely. that you will induce some bleeding complications with the stronger antiplatelet, and you have to weigh this against one another. So, so uh, we decided that the study was futile and, and that uh, patients uh, undergoing non complicated elective PCI do well on a standard dose clopidogrel. So what are you going to do next? I mean, the whole concept of personalized medicine has been one that we've been going after for some time. What are you up to? Well, we think we should focus on more complicated PCI. The, the uh, trial design was that we tested uh, clopidogrel response after successful PCI. And this is very much to the European practice to perform ad hoc PCI in a large proportion of patients. So you don't have a chance of testing beforehand and then switching the patient. But, but then if we find patients and identify patients with high-risk elective PCI and also include the patients where something went wrong during PCI, such as peri-interventional myocardial infarction, then these patients may well depend on a higher level of platelet inhibition and then the um, uh, uh, the, the concept of uh, personalized antiplatelet uh, may be uh, valid, but, but this was, would take a large uh, cohort of patients to be screened in the first place, and, and as m most of the elective PCIs go well, uh, the number of patients available for these studies is low. So, Dr. Norman, is there any place right now where you would choose to move somebody from clopidogrel to prasugrel? Only if there's myocardial infarction, I mean, then I would say the patient switches from elective PCI to uh, acute coronary syndrome-like uh, setting, and then I, I think it's reasonable to, to treat these patients as an acute myocardial infarction. But otherwise, with an elective PCI going well, I wouldn't change anything. So Trigger PCI is the study. It's the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. It was expedited and published online first. Now you can look for it in check. I'm Rick McGuire.